Hello, this is Space Daily News. For the second time ever, SpaceX has used Starbase Mechazilla Tower and arms to stack a Starship upper stage on top of a super heavy booster. This time around, SpaceX clearly learned a great deal from its second February 19th Starship stack and was able to complete the stacking process several times faster on March 15th. During the previous stack number 2, it took SpaceX around 3 and a half hours from the start of the lift to Starship fully resting on Super Heavy. With stack number 3, however, SpaceX was able to lift, translate, lower and attach Starship to Super Heavy in just over an hour. Oddly, SpaceX managed that feat without a claw-like device, meant to grab and stabilize Super Heavy during stacking operations. For stack number 2, we used a pair of chopsticks, giant arms meant to grab, lift and even recover starships and boosters. These chopsticks grabbed ship 20, lifted it close to 100 meters above the ground, rotated it over top of Super Heavy and briefly paused it. And then third arm, known as the quick disconnect arm, swung in and extended its claw to grab the Super Heavy booster. Once the booster was secured, the chopstick slowly lowered Ship 20 onto Booster 4's interstage and six clamps joined the two stages together. Prior to stack number 3, however, SpaceX removed both of the swing arms claws, meaning that it had no way to grab onto Super Heavy. That diminished capability clearly appeared to have zero impact on the ease or speed of the stacking process, given that it was completed a full three times faster than stack number two. That could imply that the claw is either completely unnecessary or only needed when attempting stacking operation in extreme winds. What really saved time on stack number three was a faster lift and fewer pauses throughout especially while lowering Starship the last several meters onto Super Heavy. During stack number 2, SpaceX took close to an hour and a half to fully lower Ship 20. The same sequence took just 20 minutes during stack number 3. Ultimately, assuming SpaceX can speed up the start of the stacking process and replicate its Starship success with Super Heavy, it's possible that Starbase's orbital launch integration system is already capable of supporting multiple Starship launches per day. However, SpaceX has never even attempted an orbital Starship launch, recovery or reuse. The company is still waiting for permission to attempt orbital test flights from Federal Aviation Administration. Space Daily News, stay tuned with us.